Hi, beautiful. How are we today? Oh, 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 thank you for being here. We're watching some girls highlight their hair at home and not just regular old foil highlights. We're doing some balayage. And if you don't know what that weird word balayage means, well, you're not going to learn what it means today because pretty much everybody's probably going to do it wrong. But balayage is a hair painting technique. It's kind of like a freestyle highlighting method. So instead of doing perfect little weaves, putting lightener on, putting it in a foil, you're just freehand painting those highlights on so it looks very natural and sun-kissed and glowy. It's been the rage for a long time now and plenty of people have tried to do this on their own hair at home. And then they go to the salon and have somebody fix it typically. But sometimes it just so happens to work out. Hopefully at least somebody does it a little bit correctly. My standards today are being dropped down to an all-time low just because this technique is very difficult to do not only on somebody else, but way harder to do on yourself. I don't even think I could do it on myself. It's difficult. You need to be able to look at the head from above, from the side, from the other side, all the way around the head in order to do this correctly. Let's see if at least maybe one of these girls can get it right. Let's get it started. All right. Our first video is by Abby Hoyt, and this is trying to balayage my hair at home. Let's see you try. I know I literally just uploaded me doing like that hair gloss on my hair, and I do really like my hair brown. <laughs> and but I decided that I'm just gonna bleach my hair today. If I don't like my hair blonde, and if I decide that I do like the brown hair better, then I will just dye my hair back brown. This is a perfect start to this video. <laughs> Just very indecisive already. She just went dark, apparently. Now she's going light again, and then she's gonna go dark again if she doesn't like it. Perfect. What do we got? Okay. I approve. 20, but I think on this shade of my hair, I should probably use 30. I think that is a splendid idea, miss. 30 volume is gonna be perfect to eat through that artificial pigment you have on your hair right now. Looks like it might be box time, maybe not, but it's gonna take a lot of power to get through that and get your hair lighter, and 30 volume is gonna do that for you. 20 volume then for my um, toner. 20 volume for your toner? I do have an icy white toner here, but I got this T28 that I think I'm gonna maybe mix my icy white toner. I don't really know yet. I don't know what T28 is. Shall we look? T28 looks to be a natural blonde, which is still gonna be probably too light for what she's uh, gonna accomplish today, but we shall see. It might lighten very fast. I don't know, but <laughs> God damn it. These Wella toners, everybody just goes to them directly. They Nobody wants to try any other toners. It is kind of one of the only ones that is easy to find, which is sad. It shouldn't be that way. Toner is more of a natural, I think it's actually called nat yeah, it's literally called natural blonde. So I'm thinking this will be better and then Yes, I think so too. Later on I'll use my other toner. I don't know. I'm talking so fast, you guys probably are so confused, like what I'm even doing. Like I really oh. like that. <laughs> Good I luck. Good luck. I'm literally doing this myself and it's gonna turn out probably awful, but. Even if you went to a hairstylist, they might not be able to do that perfectly. You'll have to find a very good hairdresser, hair colorist in order to accomplish what you're trying to go for. I've seen crazier things happen. Maybe she can do it. I'm not even scared that my hair's gonna fall out just because it feels, guys, like so healthy right now, even though you might not believe me because I bleached my hair so much in the past. Okay, so her hair does look to be fine, which is good. When you're lightening hair, fine hair tends to lighten very, very, very fast comparatively to thicker hair. And she said she's previously lightened her hair a lot in the past. That means underneath that brown, it's probably a lot of blonde. So once that brown lifts off her hair, it's gonna go very quick and probably gonna turn blonde very fast. That's what I'm getting from what she's saying, at least. I'm gonna section my hair from my... Front. We're doing four quadrants. We love that. This will be another section. So I'm gonna start with this back section and bleach all of that first. Or and then this section, like the two back sections. Uh -huh. first and not show you guys. And then I'm gonna show you guys me trying to do the front. Okay. So obviously we gotta mix <laughs> Sounds like a plan. First, so. Also we don't have gloves, which is not good. Oh, she already did the back. Okay. Let's see what she's doing to the front, because I didn't see the back. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. The two sides and then bringing up the middle a little and just saturating the entire bottom. Like, it's really, just 
it's really easy stuff. I really want to bring it really close to my face though in the front. This is offensive. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. Ah! <laughs> Too bad. Ah! Okay, let's break this down. This looks like a hair school student's first time ever touching bleach. <laughs> What's gonna happen here is she's going to get very harsh lines where she put the bleach because she is fully saturating from the top to bottom with lightener. Typically with balayage, you're doing very gentle strokes of lightener on the hair. It goes from a lighter amount of bleach to a thicker amount of bleach at the ends. That way you get that nice gradient. Here, she's not gonna get that. She's gonna get roots with bleached ends and it's not gonna look good. There's just a lot going on here and I don't even know what else to say. I, I, whoo, girl. This is definitely not how we do it in the salon. It takes a lot of practice to get that motion right in order to do nice balayage. People go years without being able to do it correctly. Guys, okay, this is actually like so fast. This really hasn't taken us no, well, it's no. very fast when you're doing it completely wrong. It's on my third section on the side and I'm almost done. I feel like it's honestly probably kind of a bad thing, but whatever. Yes. I'm just hoping for the best right now. The other thing that's going on that really concerns me is that she's fully saturating every strand of her hair. What she should be doing is saturating like every other section with lightener. That way she gets a variation of light pieces and dark pieces because balayage, the difference between like ombre and balayage is ombre is like full saturation all at the bottom of the hair. Everything from here down is light, but with balayage, it's more of a highlight. So like there's dark pieces in between that lightness. So she's gonna get something that she's definitely not looking for. Cute, fun, good luck. <laughs> I feel like that looks like a good balayage. Oh, this is stressful. Okay. Ah. 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 Looks like it could look good. So hopefully it does. This side looks way worse than the other side. I don't know. No, they look. The other side was way easier. And now we have resorted to using our hands <laughs> to paint. All right, that piece looks fine. That piece doesn't look too bad. I was scared my hair like wasn't gonna lift at all, but it's definitely lifting, so that's good. Oh, it'll lift. It is such a pretty blonde without me even. It actually it. is. What the hell? <laughs> Like, this is so weird. I don't understand because usually it should be like really orange and it's like actually a pretty blonde color right now. It actually looks quite even and already toned. Listen, I'll take it. Guys, I'm so excited about my hair. Like I actually think I'm really going to love this. She's using 20 volume with T28, which means it's gonna lift her natural hair color. If she has any natural hair color on her head, it's gonna get lifted by that 20 volume because anything above 10 volume lifts your hair. We don't want that when we're toning hair. We want just deposit only. So usually you should go with a demi-permanent developer, which is like 10 volume typically. So I'm just putting this in with my hands and I never do toner carefully. I really Great. don't believe in doing toner carefully. Great. <laughs> Head. Great, right at the root. Put that 20 volume right at that root. Okay, so I just rinsed the toner. Well, that out looks. Hair. I actually left it in 15 minutes because I don't know, my hair, I don't know why it didn't turn orange like at all. It turned like such a pretty color. 15 minutes <laughs> to leave 20 volume in your hair for. You need to be following like the instructions typically. I think it's like 25 minutes for a well of toner to be left in your hair. And usually that's like the full time span you should leave it in your hair for in order for it to deposit all the pigment it needs to deposit in order to work correctly. Just a rule of thumb. Guys, it looks so good. Look at this. Look at that. Hold on, I'm gonna show you in the mirror. Wait. This is what we're looking like. It's still a little wet, but I did blow dry a lot of it. I literally love it. Um, I wanna come back tomorrow when it's <laughs> Wait, what? Using artificial lighting, so I wanna see it in the sunlight. Isn't that great because it's literally raining outside, so you still can't really see it, I feel like, that well, but you guys kinda get the gist. I really like, though, how I have all of my natural root. So I can seriously just grow out my hair and not have to worry about it. Are you ready for my analysis? Because I am a little shocked, okay? I'm surprised it didn't come out bad. I don't think she looks bad. 
I do like the light hair on her. I don't even think it's so much the light hair. I just think it looks a little bit more professionally done than the darker hair that looks like overly pigmented and too dark at the ends. I think it really is good for her to have a little bit of color variation from root to end, like darker to lighter. I think it looks really nice on her and most people. I definitely see a lot of issues with the color. I mean, you can see there's some lines. You can see that the front pieces were not done the greatest. You can see that there's a lot of things going on. However, however, for her doing this by herself for the first time, I think she actually killed it. She could definitely go outside with this hair color and, and people wouldn't knock her for it. Like, I'm not mad. I don't know how that, that worked out kind of well, but okay. And also do not try this on your own hair. I already know some of you are thinking about it. You probably will not get as lucky as Abby did. Don't do it. Well, Abby, great job. Not really, but like kind of. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, up next we have Asia Bai, and this is DIY natural hair highlights fail, dying my natural hair at home. Woo, okay, this sounds like fun and also horrifying. Today we making an impulsive decision and we are gonna do it right now so I don't change my mind. I want to give myself do it. some highlights. <laughs> Literally what's going on in my head just happened on the screen. Before and I had no complications. BW2 is a very, very strong lightener. Don't hate it, don't have anything against it. Just saying, it's a very strong lightener. That thing will lift the shit out of your hair. This time I literally just want highlights a little. Okay. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. That's great hair and stuff. Blind. I'm not gonna keep talking. Shouldn't be that hard with curly hair. I'm about that action. The greatest part about curly hair, it's all about sculpting and painting. Because if you're wearing your hair in its natural state all of the time, you can really get away with just freehanding all the highlights, just taking a piece, highlighting it, taking a piece, highlighting it. Very artistic and make sure it's even all over just by looking in the mirror. It'll be great. So it shouldn't be that hard. I feel like this is gonna go well. If you wanna know what I'm using, I'm using 30 Great. This will eat the sh out of her hair. Powder lightener and I'm using a 30 volume developer. I'm just going to pick random pieces of hair and do it. I don't have gloves or anything. You don't have gloves? It's a good approach though. You should just take pieces and color them in this case. Curly hair, you can do that. Straight hair, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. No, turn it back now. Well, you could turn back. You could actually mm -hmm. wash it off, but we'll pretend for all intents and purposes that we can't go back. Mm -hmm. But it's more fun to think about that way. She's putting those highlights in. Like I said, I'm just trying to be sporadic and put random pieces of hair. Well, you just chose two pieces that were directly next to each other. So I don't know how random it's gonna be. I'm trying not to go too close to my roots, yeah, but cool. I don't want it to be like an ombre, oh, so. The ombre. Mm. Yeah, because I know the roots will yes. heat up faster than the ends, like right. Brad Mondo taught me, but I don't know. Did she say Brad Mondo taught her that? <laughs> oh, now I love her. <laughs> I did teach you that, didn't I? And she listened. Your roots process faster than the ends. Asia, you woke me right up for my nap. And I love to hear what you just said. That was great. I, was I dreaming? I did a lot. It doesn't look like it. Also, why does it look she's, she all of a sudden has gray hair? <laughs> but I did a lot of pieces. And it's pissing me off because I feel like a lot of it's not going to be shown. Oh, we have a lot in the back. On this little area, honestly. Yeah. I definitely went in on the top. You did. Mm -hmm. You did go in. I actually feel good about this still, believe it or not. I'm just gonna put a grocery bag on my hair. That's good to keep the bleach from drying out. So in the salon, I might have used saran wrap and saran wrapped each strand as I went through or used foil. Just depends on how much lightening I want to happen. Foil will event in more lightening. Saran wrap will give you less lightening. And that's a look. I'm a little disappointed in the way it turned out to say the least. I don't know why I went so heavy on the side. You did. You did something on that side. I got this one part and this part too. Like I went in on this oh. part. Oh, you went in. I don't know. And like I said, <gasps> hair was lightening quicker than the bottom part because I had black hair dye lash. Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a second round. I don't think a second round is gonna save you. These are badly placed highlights. <laughs> there is so much wrong about the situation we're in right now. Why are there chunks of hair color? What happened to the, the small pieces we started off with? Where did it all go wrong? Right now I have the shimmer light. Her hair is so pretty. 
and so healthy. Comb my hair a little. The shimmer lights isn't gonna do anything to help you. It's not gonna do anything. Shimmer Lights needs much lighter hair. This is not a case for Shimmer Lights. Maybe if your hair was a little lighter, maybe. Otherwise, can we stop? 2020, can it be the year we stop trying to tone our hair with Shimmer Lights and purple shampoo? That's for maintenance, you guys. It doesn't give you the hair color you want. You know what I mean? I finished and I styled my hair. It's like still a little damp, but it's dry enough to show the results. I really wish I had more like pieces, like random pieces right here. I focused mostly on the top and that's where I went wrong. It's just like really dyed in some places. Oh. You know, the look I was going for, I was going for highlights. <laughs> I'm upset. Ah. <laughs> this side is the side I hate the most. And then I hate how like, slower than the tops of my hair because the top of my hair is virgin hair. That's right. The ends are not virgin hair. Here's the thing. This could have been amazing easily. <laughs> I love her hair. I love it with the highlight. The bangs look great. That's about the only thing looking great. The back, way too much highlighting. Next time, just take less pieces really saturate the bottom. Less is more. You can always add more after. I would just do less and then add more after. But yeah, maybe you should go back dark and then do it like professionally, maybe. It's not the worst, very much not the best. And that's all I have to say. Asia, thank you for that. Let's just hope there is no next time. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, we have our last girl doing a different technique. This video is by Carmen Latte, and this is called Easy Balayage Using Just a Brush. It works. Does it now? I don't think so. We'll see though. I'm gonna come into this with a half open mind. Not totally open because we know we're gonna keep that thing closed and secure, but a little bit open. Just for enough room for like new things to come in, but just like keep Keep some things out. So this step is going to be like a touch up balayage or also you could do this to like start out as well. It's not as precise, okay? Ion, bright white. Okay, good, good. Uh, Olaplex. Good, I'm happy with that. Multiplier, our 30 volume developer. Okay. Ion, non metallic mixing bowl measuring cup. Okay. And a brush. She's definitely gonna have to be careful of overlapping since her hair is very light in a lot of places. You don't want to get 30 volume lightener on those pieces again, or else you're gonna see that snap off. This is the consistency you should be seeing within your product. That looks beautiful. That. Yes, I did. Oopsie. We're off to a good start. In my hair, like, duh. And since I've already uh, balayaged my hair, like, this is just a touch up. This is not gonna be very precise. And this is for those of you who don't want it, just want a quick touch up or just add some, like, balayage to your hair. I appreciate the disclaimers. Probably not what you should do if you are just doing your hair for the first time with balayage. Um, she probably shouldn't do this either, but we'll see. I haven't actually seen the process yet, so. If Brad Mondo or whatever was watching this, he'd probably have a heart attack. <laughs> Now I'm even more excited to see this and see what goes on. <laughs> she already thinks I'm gonna have a heart attack. And girl, I'm gonna blame you if I have to go to the hospital. Since you already knew you were gonna give me one and you're doing it anyways, <gasps> give me that brush. <laughs> Stop it. And you're gonna apply the bleach just into the paddle brush. No, you're not. Like this. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. And just fill it up. And then just take the sections that you- Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I should have a glove on, but I don't plan on touching my hair that much. And I'm trying to just get the areas that I already highlighted instead of getting the ones that are not highlighted yet. No! So we are taking that 30 volume and we are going right over the lightened sections that have previously been done, which is scary. Um, we don't need to do that. Those things are really light. And if you want to do that, you can use like 20 volume and leave it on for, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. 30 volume for longer than that is gonna not be good for you. It's gonna be concerning and scary. Okay, so we are continuing to brush the lightener in our hair. Ah. There's just so many levels of wrongness. <laughs> You're just not gonna get even close to precision with this method. I'm open to it. I just don't get it because you're gonna get so much like spotting and bleeding and randomness with the highlights, full saturation. It's gonna be kind of a mess. 
And by kind of, I mean a lot. All right, so we're up to the front pieces. Now this is game on. Hopefully she doesn't use the brush for this. Hopefully she just uses the like actual color brush and not like the hairbrush. But I'm pretty sure we're just using the hairbrush on the entire head. Yep, we are. And we're going right over those already colored spots with 30 volume bleach. So much for me to handle right now. This is the third video I'm watching and it's by far the scariest. Let's get this over with. Let's just continue. Luckily the bleach looks a little dried out. So um, hopefully it won't do too much damage. I'm literally just brushing it on from the root very lightly like I'm not saturating the root I'm just brushing it on well now you're just putting dried up bleach on your roots <laughs> I don't think anything's gonna happen I don't even really see where the lightener is it's just quick and easy way to brighten your balayage if it's dull another great way to easily brighten your balayage or your highlights or your, just your blonde hair in general is to do a clarifying treatment. There's a brand called Malibu who makes them. They're like little packets of clarifying treatments. They're great. They take out all that brassy yellow and leave your hair super white and there's no bleach involved. As you can see, it is just basically brightened. Brightened. Yeah. These blonde areas. It just looks a lot less brassy. Brassy, I hate that word, brassy. Brassy. If I could just take that out of the dictionary, I would. And it just kind of brightened it up. It doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to. Surprise, surprise. Like, like all the videos I saw today, it doesn't look that bad. To leave it on for like as long as I wanted to. Brad Mundo is probably shaking. I literally am. As you guys can see, this is how the blonde turned out. Made it look a lot less dull and orangey. So here's my analysis. I don't like the technique. Did it do what she kind of wanted it to do? Yeah. Are there easier ways to do that? Yes. Her roots actually do look like they lightened a tiny bit, which is what she wanted. So overall, I don't think it was the worst thing ever. I do think that's the scariest technique ever. Wouldn't recommend it, but at least it worked out. So <laughs> claps for you. And yes, I am shaking and quaking. I don't know, that was a lot, that was scary. Well, we sure did see a lot of balayage today and we sure did see a lot of bad balayage. <laughs> Pretty much went exactly how I expected it to. Maybe a little bit better, but still very bad. Uh, don't try it at home. These are one of the things that I'd highly recommend in not doing yourself. Um, you can do some other things yourself, but this one, no, thank you. You. <laughs> Let's just leave it to the professionals, all right? Let's just leave something to the professionals. And you guys, don't forget to follow me on literally, oh my God, every other social media platform. We have TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, at BradMondoMYC. And then you guys can find me on Facebook and Snapchat under BradMondo. Also, make sure you check out my hair care line if you would like healthy, beautiful, glowing hair from the inside out and from the outside in. You can find us at xmondohair on Instagram. You can also find us at xmondohair.com. It is linked below. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. This is Force Field, our heat shield. Force Field will protect your hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only does this have heat protection technology in it, but we also have conditioning properties and hold properties. So that way your hairstyle will last you all day and all night and feel and look incredibly healthy and beautiful.